Welcome. Today we are going to talk about the Think Aloud technique, which is a usability testing method. The Think Aloud technique, also called Think Aloud protocol, or verbal protocol, is a qualitative data collection technique. It is a technique where participants speak out what is going on in their mind, including their motives, rationale, and perceptions of UX problems, while interacting with the system which is being recorded. The observer takes notes of the participants' thoughts. After the introduction of the research topic, predefined tasks are given to the participants. The tasks should be completed in a given time. Sometimes, a time for individual task is also given. The participants are asked to not only tell what they are doing, but also why, and what they think and feel while performing a specific task. There are commonly two types of think aloud technique. Traditional and retrospective. In traditional participants speaks while doing the tasks. In retrospective, participants complete the task silently. Then they reflect their thoughts while watching the recording with the researcher. There are three ways in which the researcher can act towards the participant. Conventional think aloud, speech communication, and active intervention. In conventional think aloud, the observer does not say anything. In speech communication, the observer responds with filler sounds, whereas in active intervention, the observer intervenes if the participant gets stuck. This method is suitable within any step in the design process. However, it is particularly suitable during the early process when the designer wants to evaluate the concept. Using a low-fidelity prototype, such as a paper prototype, wireframe or early stages of a working prototype, the method gives qualitative data and shows if the user is able to understand what the element of an interaction is supposed to do. First of all, the think out method is highly effective and cost-efficient. It is fast to learn and perform, and flexible as well, since the method is useful at any stage in the development process. The method gives an insight in the actual behavior of the participant while performing the task, rather than only the opinion. There are also some downsides to the think aloud method. Thinking out loud does not come naturally to most people. For example, participants report that they think faster than they can speak, and that their thought processes are much more complex than they can verbalize. It can feel a bit awkward as well, as participants are not used to thinking out loud while performing a task. There is also a risk that participants are not complete in reporting their thoughts, because they tend to think about how to speak out their thoughts first to appear smarter. A study of Al Hadridi and Mayhew in 2017 compared the three types of think aloud methods. The participants evaluated the usability of a library website using either the concurrent think aloud, speech communication or active intervention method. The variations of the think aloud method were evaluated on four factors. Task performance, testing experience, usability and costs. The results of the study were as follows. Active intervention modified the behavior of the participants and it led to negative feelings towards the researcher. This type of method also required much more time for the researcher to conduct and evaluate the data. Concurrent think aloud and speech communication were quite similar. In the traditional method, more usability problems were discovered, but this was only a small difference. In speech communication there exists a greater risk of the participant's behavior being influenced by the researcher. Al Hadridi and Mayhew concluded that the traditional think aloud method stands out because of its directness and simplicity. Thank you for listening. 